All right, hi everybody. Ryan here with Idle and Emission Solutions. Today we are talking about our Scana battery line here, our lithium dual purpose battery. We've had a lot of people call us about existing factory installed electric APU AC systems. So this is the uh, pack car, this is the Peterbilt uh, 579, has the pack car system. So what we've done here, this is the auxiliary battery bank. We took out the original four AGMs, replaced those with four of our uh, dual purpose battery, lithium batteries. So everything went Pretty easy here, pretty well for the most part, a plug and play installation. Again, uh, we're in the process of updating our next batch of batteries. We'll have a flat top, so uh, this recess has been a little bit of an issue, but we've, we've worked through it and and uh, that's kind of coming to an end here. So, uh, but other than that, uh, pretty simple plug and play install for the most part on this side. The gentleman ran it last night. Uh, everything worked as it should be as far as the readings on the uh, on his on dash where the where it tells you the percentage of the batteries everything was good on this side so over on the other side i'm going to show you on the starting side uh, we took out four agms and replaced them with two of our lithium batteries dual purpose batteries because these are rated at 2400 cranking amps so two of these is put you at 4800 cranking amps which is obviously a lot more than the uh, i believe the, the agms that were in here were 1150s so we're a little bit more cranking amps than we were with four batteries so we cost effective you don't have to buy eight batteries you can put in six i mean you're more than welcome to put in four over there as well if you want extra capacity um, but for this particular job we use the two batteries over on the other side versus four so we'll go over there So uh, here's the starting box. So originally I had four AGMs in here and we cut that down. I put the two right in the middle. Like I said, pretty well plug and play. Uh, I did have to cut down the battery uh, holder bar there. But yeah, pretty easy install. The only difference on this side is on the dash with the, um, the battery gauge on the dash, it's showing 50% obviously because we've went down from four batteries to two batteries. So that should be a parameter that you can go to the dealer and get that updated to show what's actually here now. Again, you can use four batteries, um, but like I said, this particular one uh, to save a little bit, we're fully confident just using two. Okay, so um, so those of you that do have existing systems such as the Packard products or also uh, Freightliner, we did a Freightliner last week. I think we did a video on that as well. So it's uh, easily possible to go ahead and change out those heavy AGMs, put in the lithium batteries. Um, I recommend going all lithium and not just to sell the batteries because uh, when you're using AGMs we, and, and lithiums mixed together, it's two different charging profiles. So the charging is not as quick. And, and also the, the AGMs are really heavy. They're like 75 pounds. So these are like 32 pounds. So you can, I mean, if you got eight AGMs and you're going to six of these, you can lose a lot of weight, you know, upwards, you know, of, of 400 pounds. So definitely a benefit. A lot faster charging time as well versus the AGMs. But uh, yeah, so we uh, have these available here at our location in Ohio at our dealer network. And also if you're a do-it-yourself and want to change them out yourself, uh, you can check them out on uh, dpfdiscounter.com. Uh, so that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, hit the bell for the updates and like the video.